What's up, everybody? It's Ivan with Trout's Fly Fishing. Here's my good friend, my Sims Dry Creek Z backpack, new for 2020. And we're doing an episode of What's in My Bag. Let's get to it. star of the show, before we get into what's inside the bag, the star of the show is this Sims Dry Creek Z backpack. Uh, it's made out of 300D polyester ripstop, has a PU coating on the outside, inside has TPU lamination, blah blah blah, it's waterproof and submersible. And the fabric is flexible, uh, you can pack stuff in it and it's not going to get, um, you know, it's not super rigid so you can work with it, which is nice. Uh, it has a place to put your net on the back, so you, that holster goes from top to bottom. It has a nice little zipper pocket on the outside. I think I have yeah, some extra nippers here, big nippers from Rising. A little fly patch. Has a places to put some cam straps, backpack straps, waist strap, place to put your um, hemostats. That's all, that's all well and good. That's, you know, typically stuff you find on a, a waterproof backpack. The thing that I think is probably the most notable about this and the thing that I'm really excited about <clears throat> is this self-healing zipper. It's actually a zipper from Night Eyes. And not only is it self-healing, but there are no teeth. So it's not your T-zip that takes a lot of effort to open and close. Instead, it's a self-healing zipper that is super smooth. And when it goes off track, you can easily fix it. So that's the thing that I'm most excited about. Now you might say, okay, I've had this backpack for a couple months now and you know, I've used it, abused it, stuffed it full. How do I know it's gonna last? How do I know that zipper is gonna stand the test of time? Well, when, when we get into the pack, you'll know, notice that there's another product in there, the uh, think the gear pouch they call it, the Dreck gear pouch or gear bag, that's a little four liter bag, uses the same zipper. I've had that for a year now and I love it. Best addition to my kit that I've had uh, in the last, you know, in recent memory, sort of changed the way I do things, changed the way I, I think about, uh, for me, packing my bag with not only fishing stuff, but also camera stuff. Um, and if you're not into you know, hauling around uh, a bunch of camera stuff, you can fit quite a bit of fishing stuff or uh, fishing related stuff in here. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the bag itself. A little quick zipper, action open, open action. Okay. So as mentioned earlier, uh, this is the Sims Dry Creek gear pouch. This is the four liter uh, gear pouch. It also has that Night Eyes zipper on it. And um, I've heard rumor or tale or uh, fable of uh, a Sims rep actually jump, sealing these and then jumping on top of them, popping the, basically popping the zipper out, un, you know, sort of taking this zipper all the way back and then tracking it back over to close it. And it, seals back up. I've never done that. However, I have uh, had this zipper come off track and it's pretty easy to fix. Uh, so where, you know, if you were using a traditional uh, T-zip backpack or bag um, and it got off track, you'd have to send it back and you might be without your submersible backpack for a month or two and that's not great. So uh, that is one of the things I really like about this backpack and then obviously this gear patch. And I've taking this gear pouch all over you know, Colorado, Wyoming, uh, and then also took it to Belize and uh, in Cuba as well. So uh, this has seen quite a bit of action and uh, it's a worthy addition for sure. What's inside of the gear pouch? Let's get to some of the nitty gritty. Start off, we got Tippet. So this is the new essay stuff. I know we've talked about it quite a bit. We actually have a video, I'll put the link up here. Um, this is the SA Absolute Fluorocarbon. Uh, this is actually just straight, that's the straight fluorocarbon. And then below that I have the fluorocarbon for, 
for trout, which is, this is a little bit stiffer in the 20 pound variety. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit softer, more delicate. Um, you know, I obviously have it through one through six and also have some 20 pound. The higher one through, you know, one and two are used for stream fishing, the 20 pound as well for stream fishing, maybe building up uh, leaders. And then, you know, three, four, five, and six for nymphing for the most part. Super strong, improved wet strength, uh, wet not strength uh, ability. And, um, you know, I think it's a really nice management system. It also has these little, uh, you know, if I forget those nippers, it's a good place to cut off your tippet there. So you don't have those sort of weird edges uh, when you're trying to rig. Also have it in the absolute clear variety. Absolute clear is nylon, uh, same thing. So it's stronger, uh, wet strength, wet not strength is improved over the original edition and is also stronger than competitors. So um, I've really been liking this SA stuff. That's number one. Number two, another SA product. This is the rod sleeve. This is the half, uh, half rod sleeve. So this is basically a good way. You know, I'm not always fishing out of my, uh, you know, my truck. And if I want, if we're you know, moving spots and I want to maybe protect my rod from banging around the back of a truck or banging around a car, you can slide this in here. It actually unravels. We also have some fly boxes <laughs> and some flies. Don't judge too harshly. Uh, this is my disorganized big nymph box. It's got some scuds, some Pat's rubber legs, some worms, some hare's ears, some copper johns, some random streamers, a broken chronomid, oops, some eggs, chartreuse eggs. That's a little hot, hot tip. Uh, so leeches as well. Um, we're getting into the season where you're going to start to throw big bugs a lot. And that's why I have those. Now they're all over the floor. Uh, I have hoppers, not necessarily something I'll be using yet, but uh, you always want to be prepared with hoppers. Maybe the appropriate uh, hopper dropper water or present or um, situation presents itself and you want something that's not an indicator uh, to sort of suspend your flies. So that's why I have those in the old school tacky box. Uh, this is warm water and leeches, and whatever that was. <laughs> I didn't organize this clearly. Um, still water and warm water, very good options this time of year. That's why I have that stuff here. Then uh, some smaller nymphs, smaller dries. The, oh, I actually have another fly box as well. So blue wings, scuds, midges, um, pheasant tails, caddis flies. Sort of your standard middle of spring fair there. And then we have a small dry fly box. Uh, this has some stimulators, some chubbies, um, some attractors, some wolves, some uh, hippie stompers, and uh, smaller dries, smaller PMD dries, which aren't clearly aren't here, but uh, it's only a matter of time. Those will be coming soon enough. I have more SA stuff. So this is leader and tippet. Uh, actually, that's an empty one, but three, four, and five X generally. And I'll usually do shorter tippet or shorter leaders um, in the larger sizes and longer leaders in the shorter sizes. Um, just personal preference. The shorter leaders, I think generally when you have lower flows, you know, you don't necessarily want all that taper. Um, but if you wanted to get something a little bit more um, technical and precise, you know, longer leader like the nine foot as well. And I'll probably add a 12 foot in here shortly. Um, you know, next time I'm back in the shop. So good for dry fly fishing. Uh, I have some floatant and actually I have more floatant than I'd usually carry. That's because we're about to do a um, dry fly floatant video testing all the different floatants that we sell in the shop and which one makes things float longer. So stay tuned to, for that. Have dry, you know, typically I'd have dry shake and gink, two part system. You have your floatant and then you have a desiccant. So 
So you apply the floatant when the fly is dry, and then when it gets wet, use the desiccant to lift that through the water, the water away from the fly. So uh, two-part system, definitely recommend that stuff. Uh, and then also frog spanning, sort of a similar, uh, similar thing. So uh, the it is obviously Colorado, so I have bobbers. I have the bobber bobbers. Uh, this is a pair of rising uh, six inch pliers. I also have the work pliers. I think those are in my waders. Uh, I like the work pliers. I like these pliers quite a bit. The work pliers are actually nice because they have a little uh, notch on the end so you can take a split shot on and off. These are nice. Grab onto flies. You can also cut your tippet as well. Uh, spring loaded. So good option from the boys at rising. Some weights. Classic super dues. Another pair of big nippers. Never know when you're going to lose nippers, which actually I do know it's every time I go fishing, it feels like. Uh, and I have some tippet rings and um, swivels. Scotty D sort of turned me on to using swivels uh, in your nymphing rigs to not only help your flies get down, but also to you know sort of give it a little bit more of a competitive advantage, especially in more technical water. So uh, sort of lets that fly the weight of the fly carry get down faster get your flies down faster um, and get it into the zone so i've been enjoying those have some hooks random hooks i think these are for pegging beads it's not random that's exactly what they're for and then some beads so that's what's in the gear pouch and then here in this little sleeve, another disorganized fly box, uh, an Umpqua fly box, nothing, nothing crazy, this has some streamers in it. Um, there's some warm water streamers in here, there's some pike streamers, there's some trout streamers. Uh, I'm actually running out of black so I need more black. There's some olive in here which I don't know why I ever bought that, it never works worst color ever uh, and then just to sort of show what I carry obviously you know certainly don't expect everyone to carry an entire you know, DSLR body plus a couple lenses but you know there's quite a bit of room in here so this is what I do if I'm going fishing and want to take photos as well I have let's put this to the side this is a Tenba made company by ten company named Tenba it's uh, basically a little insert and I carry extra lenses, so these are just some lens inserts. This is a 35 mil 1.4 from Sigma. I have a Peak Design uh, cover, so if it's raining or snowing and I still want to shoot, I use that. Memory cards, filters, Peak Design, another Peak Design piece for the the camera and then big 70 to 200 uh, f4 um, so yeah fit quite a bit in there you could also obviously fit a lot of beer in the bag or if you want to get a camera insert to fit your beer you could also do that uh, fit some you know you could there's certainly room for all sorts of things so uh, obviously not as applicable to everyone, but uh, just sort of shows you what you can fit in that bag. Um, you know, like it quite a bit. So, so that's what's in my bag. It's the uh, Sims, Sims Dry Creek Z backpack. Uh, I'm definitely putting my seal of approval on this. I think with the combination of using the pouch and testing the zipper, really putting it through its paces, I have a lot of confidence in taking this pack out on the water with some uh, stuff that I definitely don't want to get wet or submerged. So. Um, yeah, Sims Dry Creek, Dry Creek Backpack, Dry Creek Z Backpack. We have it available in the shop online. Uh, come by, check it out, or uh, pick one up. So, yeah, there we go. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah, please like and subscribe um, and all that stuff. I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you later.